All right, guys, so with the new update and with White Lily coming out, I know a lot of players are trying to pull her from the gancha, and with it, of course, you're going to need a lot of crystals to do so. And in this video, I wanted to quickly update the 2024 guide for actually farming uh, these crystals free to play and all the different methods that are available right now inside of the game. And of course, just keep in mind that you are able to purchase these crystals if you want to trade some of your money for the time that you're going to be spending. But that is, of course, going to be up to you. You do not need to spend any money to play Cookie Run Kingdom if you choose to do so. But let's go over the basic, basic methods as of right now first. Of course, we do have the ad watching, uh, which means that you're going to be able to get 90 of the rainbow cubes as well as 90 of the crystals every single day by watching ads. And of course, you do also have uh, this right over here where you're able to go to the game supply and you'll be able to collect some free crystals every single day. All right, so those are the basic stuff out of the way real quick. And now let's talk about the things that you can do every single day to gain some more crystals. Now we have the fountain. All right, the fountain gives you some crystals. The tree of wishes also give you some crystals. And right now we do have some burning time. So you're able to get some more if you choose to do all of the wishes to lead towards uh, getting some more crystals and of course uh, sometimes your train also gives you some crystals as well depending on your luck um, and we also now lead towards uh, you know getting some more crystals from the daily things the passive income pretty much here uh, which is going to be from the tropical soda island this will be unlocked uh, later on down the line if you guys are starting off I believe it's uh, starting from castle level 5 and if you clear all the way down to the uh, you know direction of the tropical soda island then you're gonna be right over here if you lead uh, from this area right over here continue all the way to here then you're gonna be able to unlock this you're gonna be able to go and clear uh, you know these islands and you're gonna be able to get all right um, some crystals every single time and this is also included with the XP star jellies and the coins as well so definitely something that you want to do and you just want to kind of clear uh, the one time uh, so that you also have those free crystals coming in now Going into the basically the big parts of the game, all right, um, and big part means that you're going to be able to get a lot of and majority of your crystals are going to come from this and this is going to be reoccurring every single month and that is going to obviously be the Kingdom Arena as well as the Guild and the Cookie Alliance. All right, so those are the three main ways for you to actually gain crystals. So if you guys go to the reward section, you're going to be able to see that every single month or around 28 days worth of arena, you're going to be able to get some of these crystals. Right now, uh, you know, for me, if I'm in Elite 2 and I end in Elite 2, uh, then I'll be able to get a total of two, uh, 24,000 crystals. And depending on your rank, this is what you will be getting at the end of it. Additional to that, if you guys climb up to a certain rank, so if you guys climb up to Master 1 and you started off as Gold 3, all right, then you're going to be able to get 250, 300, 350, 400, 500, 550, and all the way up to this right over here, 1,000 uh, for getting all the way up to Master 1. So this is a one-time thing, and then this will be the end of the season reward and that is where majority of the crystals are going to be coming from as well all right and additional to that if you guys go to your uh cookie alliance cookie alliance is another monthly reset thing where you'll be able to get not only a one-time reward for where your rank is but also your guild rank as well so this is not as much as what you'll be getting from the arena uh, but you also do get a quite a lot from this Okay, of course, this is going to be a little bit harder for a lot of the players, especially uh, players that actually just jump into the game, uh, you know, new. Uh, this is going to take some time, but, you know, it is another way for you to gain not only crystals, but also rainbow cubes as well. And, of course, depending on your rank in your guild as well, you'll be getting some extra rewards. Okay, so this is going to be another way of getting your crystals. But in my opinion... I would say this method right over here, the guild boss battle is going to be your top, top, top priority in actually farming your crystals weekly. All right. The reason why I say this is because, you know, guild is going to give you a big chunk of your income. And that's the reason why I always state it is very, very, very important to find a good guild and an active guild. 
to join if you guys are starting off the game or if you guys are returning to the game because if you look at the rewards right over here this right here round reward is going to be your weekly reward every single week you're going to be able to get these rewards and then the season reward is going to be at the very end and you'll be able to gain that much crystals for that month okay so this is going to be occurring four times a month and this will be occurring one time a month which means if for example all right if you guys are in a grandmaster 3 guild all right and it's honestly right now a lot easier to get into a grandmaster 3 guild it will be 7,000 times 4, which is 28,000 already. And at the very end, you also do get 8,500, which means that you'll have a total of 36,500 to work off of. Okay, which is a lot of crystals, uh, even more than what you will actually be getting from the arena, which means that you have to actually get to Grandmaster 2 to gain that much crystals. Okay, so it is a very very important uh step in actually going towards uh getting into a guild a good guild because that's where majority of your crystals are going to be coming from and additional to that now you also do have the one-time rewards so every time you clear the world exploration you're going to have the star rewards at the very bottom you're where you're going to be able to gain you know crystals not only from the story but dark mode as well as the master mode as well uh, so you'll also have those rewards and additional to that right now we do have some crystals that you're able to get from the beasties as well okay so the number of stars equals you know extra rewards additional to that we also do have the event stuff so if you guys keep going down you also have things that will be achievement so every single time you clear a certain stage or you reach a certain level you're going to be able to gain crystals so right now we have the uh, level up your kingdom you also have the world exploration one from uh, episode 1-1 all the way up to you know episode 18 and also have the uh the beasties as well you also have the into the unknown you also right here uh you have this one right here where this is for the dark mode and story mode you also have path to victory that you'll be able to gain if you reach all the way up to master three uh, you have the one-time rewards that are going to constantly be reoccurring every single month or every single week. Or, uh, you know, it just depends on how long it's going to last. But don't forget about the daily stuff, the, uh, the weekly events, because those are going to just stack up. Those are going to uh, come and uh, become a lot more than what you guys would have expected, right? The small things gather up and will equal something that you'll be able to use to pull for things that you want to okay so you definitely don't want to miss out on it like i i had people comment like you know 500 crystal it's not that lot or it's, it's not a lot or 1500 rainbow cubes is not a lot but if you stack it up right it's gonna become a lot more than what you just see right in front of you so definitely um you know again i would say take care of all the daily stuff you know weekly stuff and then, uh, you know, the most important thing for a lot of the players will be go towards actually joining an active guild because an active guild will be very, very, very important. Okay, uh, sadly, out of all of those methods right now, the one that has disappeared is going to be Taro Sweet Chaos. Uh, now, that is not going to be one of the methods that used to be, okay, a good method uh, to actually find crystals. It's actually gone now, so... Uh, we'll just have to go with what we have as of right now. But that's pretty much the updated 2024. Uh, it doesn't really change. I mean, a lot of the, uh, you know, game modes are still the same. Uh, the events are still the same. Even the special episodes also have, uh, you know, the crystals as well. And also, uh, you know, now it's just the beasties section has been added. So make sure to farm everything, guys. Uh, and I hope you guys found the video helpful. Good luck with farming and I'll see you guys all on the next one.